So how about we start the episode with a prank? Yeah, go on then, why on earth not? Because what happened was I decided that the alley that I got in the last episode was the kind of perfect excuse to uh, get up to a little bit of mischief. Because look at these guys, they are literally the epitome of chaos. Because, uh, yeah, these things just get up to all sorts of trouble. I mean, look at them, they're trying to escape right now, they're trying to get some t more, more tea. Probably shouldn't have given them a cup of tea, should I? Oopsie. So, side note, I've lost the ally. The ally that has the, the tea. It's it's here, but it's also, like, not here. Wait, wait, wait. One, two, three. Yeah, you're the third one. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no. One, two. Where's your friend? Are they, under, are they stuck under there? This ally has vanished. Where is it? Like, where is it actually gone, though? Like, I don't... You inside? Are you stuck on there? I mean, I won't lie. That is kind of adorable. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use a lead to drag them all that way. We'll, we'll, we'll find out when the, I guess the time comes, but I think I'm going to need some more leads as well. So I had a few comments last time saying, oh, why false didn't you just use a lead? Because this is why, look, it, they just get stuck on things constantly. If I could get you high up, my dude, and then like fly, that would be great. But I have a feeling that won't work. Although maybe the scaffold. But you know what? This area is pretty flat. As long as, as long as you can get over a single block like that, that'd be really nice. Okay, so before we have any issues here, I'm going to stick you there. I'm going to make another one of you because this is going to be a problem otherwise. And then... We can... Yeah, there we go. Th that way I don't accidentally kill or anything the other one. Right, okay. Ah, oh, don't push the cat off. Oh wait, this is going to be, be a problem. Okay, right. Good thing I've, I've got the minecart then, right? So minecart, I'm thinking... You know what, let's just do this where I go back and forth. Okay, let's see if I can get you in the minecart. Be really handy. Maybe also turn the music off. <laughs> um, there we go. How do I get you in a minecart? Then that's the question. You're a bit high up for the minecart. Can you fly downwards? That'd be nice. And then fly this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. Hey, there we go. Okay, lead's broken. So what I was thinking was I could either push you into this chair. No, I can't. Uh, does that look like a chair? Should really get some slabs or something. Anyway, can I even give you an item now? I think I've put you in a minecart and... Oh, no, I can still give you an item. Oh, my goodness, and you can see them in the chair. Drinking it. Okay, okay, okay. So let me get rid of these minecarts. I was going to move the minecart the other way around, but I think maybe... Will that do? Doesn't really look like a chair. But I do like that they are <laughs> having a drink. Actually, you know what? No, I'm going to leave just those two. You know, that's funnier, because you might not notice. That's actually funnier. Okay, you've got a cup of tea, you've got a hot chocolate. Okay, you guys don't don't despawn on me, okay? This guy, I don't know what to do about this guy, though. What can I do? I think I might take you over to where I'm going to have a shop. So it has been a couple of days since I did the prank, and uh, Cleo's actually online right now, and she's live streaming right now, as you can see. <laughs> and I don't know if she's been over here yet. I don't think so. I kind of missed the start of the stream, so I could have I could have missed it. She may have already seen it already, but I, I haven't mentioned anything. I'm, I'm kind of leaving it as a bit of a surprise because I think that that'll be the most fun. And also because in here it's like there's kind of a lot going on with the different textures, the patterns and stuff as well with the floor and the bookshelves and such. It's not the most obvious. I mean, a little bit obvious when you look, but not really. Like they're not the craziest, uh, craziest thing. So I'm hoping that it will just be a subtle surprise and be really, really funny. So I'll have to ask Cleo at some point, Sally, to see if... Uh, She's even noticed. And oh, by the way, today I am actually tweaking some audio settings, so if I sound a little bit off in some of the clips, then uh, apologies. You just have to deal with it, because audio is my absolute worst nightmare, and I hate it. Please, someone help me. Help me, please. I hate it. I hate it so much. Right, we've got some rivers to sell, and Azuma, I believe, is a fan, and maybe wants some himself. In fact, this area is looking pretty empty. Oh, maybe that's uh, where it's going to be. Let's uh, go find him in this maze of a base. And uh, I, I can never see his name. Oh, wait, no, I can. I lied. I can see him. <laughs> oh I can God, see I'm him. Like, talking and saying hello, and I'm muted. Hi. Hi. Hello. I was going to say, I couldn't hear you. <laughs> You're so far away. Because <laughs> I'm muted. I'm just up there <laughs> trying to get your attention. And I'm like, why should I say anything? Yep, yep, yep. Oh. I saw the little villager on your hat. I was like, there's X. <laughs> yep, there I am. Hi. Hi, I've heard you want some uh, some rivers, maybe? Uh, I want some leaky business. Some... That's not a saying, is it? <laughs> I mean, as long as it's big business, yes. It can be what it can be whatever. Oh, I see you bring your uh, you brought your briefcase. This is absolutely amazing. Can you tell me what is inside of there? R rivers, obviously, right? <laughs> 
rivers in your briefcase. They're quite literally so. in the briefcase. That's where, I, where, where am I going to get them from otherwise? You I know? know, right? Like, nature doesn't make them. I can't just not. make them appear, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so for those that are out of the know, you've been building rivers all around the neighborhood, which is really cool. I actually uh, used them to transport villagers on boats, which was really, really convenient. So, uh, oh, very nice. Yeah, them. see, they are very convenient, right? I am. I'm working on an expansion. I, I basically need two rivers, so I'm going to need to show you where they go. Okay. Uh, very is cool. that is that something you can do for me? Yeah, I mean, lead lead me to wherever uh, these these will be, and I'll uh, let you know. So this is this is where like my base ends for now. Okay. So I, I yeah. brought with me some blue wool. Mm -hmm. is, uh, really prepared. There's actually like a natural bit of water over here because I sort of pictured there being like a waterfall that turns into a river or something. But look at this. Oh wow, is there? There's already this down here. Yeah. Oh cool. That that this, wait, is that the same height as the rest of the water? I think it's one block off. So it could oh. be an aquifer instead, but it's it's perfect. Yeah, that's really. that's cool. Yeah, I didn't actually know that was there at all. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting it to be like flying over the top. So there's gonna be a path coming through this area. Okay. And Jevin's given me control over this land, so I'm going to be expanding and building another temple. Ooh, that, oh, nice. That means that we need, like, a little bit of a natural divide. So what I'm thinking is, like, do you think you can uh. make, like, a water feature, waterfall? Yeah I, I, yeah, I know how to do vertical rivers. Yep, they are a thing. Oh, vertical rivers. I mm -hmm. love it. Yeah, oh, waterfalls is a bit, you know, old-fashioned, you know, right? Yeah, yeah. I think ver I've, vertical I've, rivers I've will really catch on. So yeah, like a river like this, what I'm going to do is have the path like cross the river over near the mountainous bit and then uh -huh. it will connect to Jevin's base. Yeah. So then it just needs to go all the way out to here and connect to the river that leads to Loglands. Cool. I mean, that sounds great. Yeah, yeah. And then you can get from your base to Loglands via river. Yes. Yeah. Well, if I need to. Yeah. Actually, I've been trying to go around the server on foot a little bit more. You notice I was using the Ender Pearls. Mm -hmm. And I've been using the horsey, and I think having boats as well will really make it just more convenient. Yeah, I think the more air, like ways of we can transport ourselves around and other things around, the better, right? Yeah, pretty much. Give you options. Uh, I've really been enjoying taking it slower. Like you, you take in your environment a little bit more when you do that. And so there we have it. Technically, the first neighborhood river contract that I've actually broken some ground on, other than Rand, because we haven't technically dug any of that just yet. Because quite literally, I got started as soon as I got done talking to Azuma. Or at least uh, the next morning. And well, if we fly up into the sky, you can see it sort of from here. And it is a very, very fun looking river. I really think that this gives Azuma's base that really like, you know, that, that I think it need, he needed. Because honestly, this bit looks great. And then this bit, a natural looking area. And then this natural looking wall here just looks kind of fun. Although I will say this is not finished completely. I did have to make it a little bit more wide on this end because basically if you're looking at the time lapse, it was a little bit thin. And if we look at it from the sky, just flying up here like this. Yeah, it was a little bit too, uh, it was a little bit too thin. And so this is what I'm thinking. We've made it about three blocks wider, which kind of seems crazy that it's three blocks wider. It didn't really feel that thin before, but now I'm like, well, this actually just makes sense. This is the perfect kind of width, I feel like, for this. Now, we'll say that there isn't any detail on such because of that reason. I wanted to make sure that it was in the correct place. And so I will check that again before I add any detail, but I'll be adding some block variation. And of course, lastly, the riverbed, because being one block tall is way easier to build, okay? I'm sorry that these rivers all look like they're very shallow right now, but eventually they will be deeper once I've done the walls and then also decided on the riverbed. Some brown dirt, maybe even some podzel, I'm not sure. But uh, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that's the kind of vibe we give this river here. And so, you know, if you've got any suggestions, now's a great time. Get to the comments and let me know. In fact, give me some suggestions for various different riverbeds because you know what? I've got that one in mind already. But, you know, there's a lot of different types that I probably haven't even thought about yet. Some more sandy types. I actually kind of am thinking red sand from my very own base could be a fun riverbed to have. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. But seeing as though these projects are going to be fairly time consuming and mostly live stream or off camera based, it'll be very likely that I'll be briefly updating you every episode or so. So come along to the streams to get the full, the full big business faults if you are interested. But speaking of business, it wasn't all that long until we got another neighbor interested over here at the riverboat. And well, uh, 
this is a river I'm pretty excited about. And that would be a third hermit on the list. These are piling up. <laughs> Am I going to regret it? No. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. Hello, hello. Hello. Um, how you doing? I'm okay. Sorry, I was busy with the, some farms and stuff, you know? Yeah, I heard. It's kind of noisy down there. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. <laughs> I had to turn it off. Yeah. <laughs> um, we need to talk about your um, your river service. Okay. Yeah, well, uh, come on this way. There's a little okay, boat and everything, okay. you know? Near, I did. I saw yours. the boat. Yeah, very mm -hmm. excited about that. Um, yeah, you know, okay, so I'll, I'll add my name to the list because, you know, that's that's what you're supposed to do. And technically, the rivers are free, asterisk. Yeah, you know, I thought <laughs> I'm not going to put a price on them, right? Okay. So. That, oh, I see. People I see. Can... So, so, sort of pay afterwards you know yes. with, with what they gotcha. feel like is, is fit you know okay that's fine oh i like the use of the lecterns as kind of like a little uh table here thing i like that Thanks. and i yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the salmon heads in the back which is kind of why i'm here um okay so i'm gonna put my name on this list okay 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 take the book i'm gonna put my name i'm gonna bump x and ren dog down just kidding um, <laughs> i mean you can't three do, on the to list. be honest but yeah 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 they take, a little, they take a little while, you know. They take a little while. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I want, I want, oh, there's a trader over there. I got to see if he's got some mini Ooh. blocks for me. Um, I want a river back back there uh -huh. where, where it was marked. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, yes. But it's got to be a really, a little, maybe a little extra wide. Uh, um, do, do we know numbers? Well, uh, what's the standard? It's got to be cooler than all the other rivers. I've got orders from uh, a higher oh. power that uh, that want me to have the best river in town. Oh, I don't know why. Mm. It, I don't know why. It's a mystery to me, even for now. But for some reason, I've got to have a really good river, a lot of a lot of width, and and possibly more depth. Look at this guy just walk. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. I mean, he's a customer as well. You know, he's waiting in the queue. You know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, patiently. He's, he's looking around. <laughs> I'm very busy, you know, Beef. You know, big business and everything. Look, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. Like I haven't even got my, my briefcase on me. I haven't got my hat. Oh, oh yeah, that's a shame. You've that's interrupted me with, with the business. I know. You know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I mean, what do you think? I, I mean, I can I can give it a go. Okay. Okay. What, what if I say I get started, and then I let you go? You uh, you know, review it, and then we yeah. can add more detail from there. You know. Done deal. Sweet. Sounds you good. You will be. Well, you will be well compensated for it, I can assure you. I, I, Wonderful, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know some powerful people. Sweet. So, sounds yeah. good, Beef. You're on the list, so I'll get to it as soon as I can. Awesome. Thank you. Have a good Thank day. Enjoy much. the rest of your uh, farming and piston noise stuff that was happening down there. It was very disturbing. <laughs> I, I could hear from a mile away. <laughs> yes, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. Well, it looks like a certain big fish may be in the business of needing a river. And you know what? Looking at this area again that I marked out a little while ago, oh, that's the wrong trap door, over here, it may be one of the shortest rivers that I've got potentially planned for the future, but it is also one of the best spots with this big cliff on one side and then the farmland on the other. And then, of course, over this way, I'm not sure if XP's planning on using this side. Maybe he is, maybe he's not. Well, we'll see, I guess. But then we have the contrast of XP's base over here, which is kind of great. I like this. In fact, these three bases are all so different, like on different extremes, on different, like, you know, we've got the tropical paradise. We've got the big old mansion that, like, I feel like Tony Stark would live in or something. And then you've got, like, the farmland over here with farmer beef. It's it's quite the contrast, but I am a little bit biased about this river being the best because it's also the one that's closest to, to me uh, and my river. And that will mean that I get access to the shopping district pretty easily. So it's a pretty good shortcut for me, I won't lie. But with the mansion one side and the farmland on the other, they, there is opportunity to do something really, really fun with this river as well. So I will ask the XB and Beef what they think of this idea. But basically, what if like one side is very like farmland based, you know, very kind of muddy, a little bit like what I've got over there, very natural looking and, you know, that kind of stuff. And then the other side is like a, a bit of a canal with maybe some quartz details and such, making it look kind of extra fancy. Maybe there's a, you know, well... We don't need a yacht because <laughs> I think Kratos has got that covered. In fact, I think XP's probably sharing that yacht. You know, it looks like he probably owns it and he's parking it up there. <laughs> Maybe that's actually what's happening here. Who knows? Well, that definitely could be a fun idea. So I'll see what they think, but it might also just kind of maybe look a bit too contrasty and be a bit much. But we'll see. I'm kind of open to what we do here, but uh, I will want to dig it out at least first to um, to to um, be standards. 
beef standards or the big fish's standards. I'm not I'm not sure exactly who this river is for, um, other than me, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's very exciting. So I'm looking forward to it, but we won't get that started uh, for a couple of days or so. Because I've heard from Azuma and the river is now the right width. And basically that means that what I'll do next when I'm over there, later on today, I will do the detail. And hopefully we'll get that thing finished up nice and ready to basically work on the second one because there's two technically over there <laughs> to work on, which is kind of cool. Well, I've got a little bit of time left for today's episode. And you know what? We're going to take a little bit of a break from the rivers because I don't think I have the resources to add the detail. I'm going to need to grab some tough and, you know, some andesite and maybe some more cobble. No, I've got cobblestone. We're good on cobblestone, but all those other miscellaneous blocks that aren't just stone or cobblestone, I just, I, I need a few more of them, you know? I think the rivers are actually going to be using quite a lot of those resources. So, you know what? I thought, what, what's an easy resource to get? Wood. Yes. I'm not buying wood with sand because I need sand. So, <laughs> stuff you, Doc. I've got to, I've got to do this way, okay? Yeah, I hope you, I hope you understand. You know, it's, it's a, it's a business thing, you know? Very big business. I need to be doing this. So, you know, after a little while, I've got, you know, a good amount of logs. And, you know, I was thinking, well, let me grab my rockets let's uh wh why not just just add the next layer uh i haven't actually even finished the walls of the first layer but you know what i'm thinking i don't really know what i'm doing just yet with all of these little gaps i have left i have a few ideas you know this one i kind of really like the idea of a waterfall i think if i can put a waterfall in this gap it will look beautiful because it will go right over here and it's right at the front of my base it'll look really cute right so i'm gonna leave that one for now or maybe no, I, you, mm, no, I'm not going to make a very good waterfall. Not, not yet. I will work on that. I will work on that. And then this one, I, I'm going to be building a concrete farm in, in, in a coming episode, which I'm excited about. It's going in this big giant hole here. So I can't do much over here yet because I'm going to leave these walls empty until I make that, of course. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I've got, you know, plans and stuff in, in, in places. So other than building a little bit off camera, uh, this dock here, which I, I really like this. It looks kind of cute. You can't really see it very well because of the contrast. But uh, yeah, it's just this cute little thing I made on stream. I think I'm going to do this the other side as well. Um, because symmetry, I guess. I don't know. I'm not usually someone that wants to have symmetry in a build. But you know what? That might be the one place. Because I'm thinking in here, if we need to move this boat ever in the future. You know, not that it needs to. But you know, once the rivers are all done, maybe. I might retire that boat and chuck it in here. And so if I dig this all out, a boat can be here. Although we are very close to the post box. So we do need to be careful of this, but I'm aware of where this is. And to be honest, this section of it is just these two water columns. So it, it's quite easy to work around. We can work that into the design. It's no problem. In fact, I want to make a thing of this and have it part of the build rather than covering it over. So yeah, that's what's happening there. And so you know what? I thought, let me grab some dark oak and let's start building yet another circle. Although I think I'm going to use the stripped wood because I think it's just going to like be a nice different contrast in texture to this very heavy plank uh, kind of texture. And because it's also, if I grab that block back again, it's also gradient wise lighter. And so I want this thing as it goes up to be a little bit lighter in that. that. It's actually going to be darker though contrast wise than this because i'm going to start bringing in some greens but i don't know if i have time to do that so we'll, we'll we'll try and build the framework first and then we'll see how much bamboo and such that i have and moss you know i might have the resources okay five minutes left on the timer but i'm gonna have to uh set it off so that it beeps there we go five minutes left uh now i wasn't planning on stopping but to be honest in five minutes what am i even gonna be able to do i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to do anything but here we go here it is I kind of like it. Uh, it's definitely getting smaller. And uh, this, is, this isn't... You gotta remember, this isn't really a mega base, right? Because my plan isn't actually that this is the build. I mean, this this in itself, I guess, stores things, right? This the space here, but it's nothing exciting. Uh, but the main aim is actually to build little builds or smaller builds within this space. I just wanted a different... A different sort of platform, I guess. Similar to, I guess, how the Cyberpunk City is. They've built, like, the... I want to say car park. It looks a bit like a car park <laughs> until buildings are added, right? Now, this kind of looks a bit similar, a bit like a, a, a car park. <laughs> um, but once buildings are added, like, for example, we're going to need the post office over here. And um, my plan is to basically continue this line here. So the plan is that you walk in, then on your left and on your right, there are going to be different buildings. I think we're going to keep the one here. I put this circle here because I was thinking that that's what the circular build I wanted to build 
would go. And I think I like it. And that's opposite, actually. Pretty much opposite where the post office will be. And I'm thinking a doorway here would be cool. And that can be on the right. And then maybe I was thinking what might be opposite. And I'm thinking a smelter or something else. Something where I'm going to be, you know, checking it on occasion, but not every single day. Like, I don't need this to be my storage room. In fact, my storage room could be that one over there. And that way, then I'm moving back and forth. You know, when I use the furnace, I can check if there's mail, etc., etc. right? Like, it's not crazy, you know, far, really, in reality, uh, to go back and forth. So I think that's my, my plan so far. Uh, it might chop and change, but um, there we go. Now, I have a little bit more time. So I think what I'm going to do is try a bit of a gradient. And I'm thinking moss and bamboo. And then maybe use the sidewood, sideways bamboo as well, because I think you can do this two different directions and then I'm thinking maybe bring in a little bit more of the stripped bamboo. You can't see it because that bit of wall isn't stripped bamboo. You know what? It's not that much bigger. If you, if you think about the actual like space that these are taking up or will take up, it isn't that much bigger. I'm just sort of starting in a different way, I guess. <laughs> like there's no, like I would have loved to have been like, ah, oh, let's start with this build over here. But I can't. Until there's a platform, I can't. And it would be weird if I just really on stilts and then went hey there you go guys because you'd be like why is it on stilts Why? why <laughs> and i'd be like there's bigger plans for a circle but uh, you know it's easy to beat the circle first okay we're trying to do this the easy way and the fast way and i say fast i did need to chop down more trees as you saw um although i will say that the trees that i had already chopped did do half of it that was that was how much wood i, I don't remember how much i had on me but that's how much wood did half of it so double that that's how much wood uh, was in this logs which expensive logs to use for a design but oh you know what look at this though that's better right imagine this opening up into like you know a street of some sort uh with the road going through the middle and then little places sight on the sides ah i like it i feel like this is gonna shrink though this is gonna feel like way smaller in the future so don't don't worry if you're panicking that it's too huge and it's very mega, mega basic don't worry it's gonna shrink uh, she says with the plan for the concrete farm. <laughs> anyway, let me see what resources I have and we'll see if we can fill in a couple of these panels just to just to get a vibe from it. In fact, let's fill it in from this direction so I can see it. Well, I found myself a block panel and here it is. I can't decide which one I prefer. I think the right one. The right one. That one there that I'm pointing towards. But what do you think? Left or right? Mm. Mm. You know, we should look at this from the side, though, because it's going to be looked at from the side. But this one, actually, I think that one is darker than the bamboo. So I think I had originally planned this, actually, to have... You know what, but the, but the, then, then the texture here is not that great. Maybe we do it the other way around for these two. Maybe we do planks there and then that. Oh, well, that didn't work, did it? Okay. You know what, that, that's better, yeah, yeah, yeah. As long as those are contrasting different ways, I think that'll work right. But yeah, you know what, let's try this design and you guys can vote and let me know. And I think, yeah, I think that's the one. So I think we start with the, what was it, wait, what was at the bottom? The bamboo planks at the bottom. And then we go, oh, wait, where do I want this here? I want some bamboo to plant as well, but I can't decide if they need to go in these, these two or these, I think it's these two. So let's say that, and then that, and then, ooh, and then, wait, do we go vertical or horizontal with that one or that one? Ooh, I think the horizontal is going to be better, less, less of it. Yeah, I think we want vertical, because if you think about it, I'm going to plant bamboo in front of this. And because those, are, you know, are very vertical, that's, oh, but then, but then, but then the planks... Ah, I'm having a nightmare. Wait, no, no, this is fine. This just means I need to put these down and then those. Yeah, so 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 when you put bamboo in front, like that that whole like the lines will all go upwards and it'll it'll, it'll look good because all these lines are going upwards too. You know, everything's very much like pushing upwards. So you know what? As long as I can get some green dye, we should be good here to do the majority. So let me do that while I've got a bit of time. You know what? This is actually going to be a little bit easier than I think. I'm thinking it is. We basically want to be in this gap here. So as long as I follow those and make sure that I'm within those and right next to those blocks up there, then we should hide the top block, which actually saying that, I've just worked out. Do I have too many blocks here? I didn't even count this. Why did I not do that? Well, let me actually put them all in. Uh, so we did that, 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 
that. Oh, we have, wait, we have space. Okay, good. I thought I'd miscounted it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it and give it a go. <laughs> Be right back. That's it. I'm done with the walls. And yes, I've done absolutely all of them. It didn't take that long, except uh, I got interrupted by Ren, who's currently online streaming. And we spoke about uh, snails for like 30 minutes. You know, the, the, the usual. The usual. If I can be bothered, I will <laughs> maybe edit that up and put that on my second channel. For those interested in snails, you know, you never know. You might be, you guys are like big, big snail fans. You, you never know. Anyway, uh, I like this. I like this a lot. I like that it's very green. Like I did, I did mention very early on with my ideas for this season that I wanted to get very nature-esque. But actually, I'm going to be kind of contrasting that with like stuff that isn't so nature-esque. Uh, which I'm pretty excited about, which is why I'm kind of like happy to get a little bit ahead here because I'm trying to like, you know, really get to that point where I'm like able to build some of the other stuff. Because I'm really kind of leaning towards that lore of like, this is what the original uh, species and stuff, uh, the beings that lived here, uh, this is their build style, you know, they were very sort of um, ordered and stuff. And then I kind of want like the more, more chaotic builds where I can experiment a bunch and make mistakes and stuff. Uh, not that I can not make mistakes with this, I'm sure I will. In fact, I'm thinking of adding sort of a wave or like some sort of like detail where this isn't just in a straight line. So I will tweak, tweak that, but uh, actually, you know what I should do? Because it could work as a bit of a farm as well. I think what I'm going to do is actually start and I don't actually know if I have the stuff. Oh wait, you know what? I do have the stuff. This is my plan. I mean, look at this. This is going to look great. That, and I'm even thinking in these gaps, which is why I've left them without a background. They left without a background. Um, like this, right? Like, this is my thinking. Oopsie. I've got... Uh, you just have to be dirt for now. I'll have to be... I'll have to fix the underneath of that anyway. But yeah, imagine this. I don't have enough bamboo. But you know, imagine those fully grown. Do I have, oh, you know what? I have. Look at me. Look at me. I'm so prepared. Look at that. See, it covers up the gradient quite nicely. Oh, that was... Well, wait. Maybe not there yet. In fact, let's just do that <laughs> and then plant it. <laughs> That's going to cause an issue otherwise, isn't it? But yeah, this is actually kind of cool. In fact, I'm going to just quickly just do that along here just so we get a nice idea on how it's going to work. And then I'll bring you back in when I've done it. Question, who let me cook? I'm now adding even more trapdoors. I have made so many trapdoors. But look at me go. I'm still going. And I think I want to see if this looks good. And you know what? I want you guys to tell me if this looks good as well. Or, or not as good and that doesn't look good whatever it is anyway i guess i've fallen off so there we go that's where we're getting to and you know what let's use helicopter fall so you can stand over here so i get these these back look at that three already beautiful let's use helicopter force to get the full the full immersion of this what we've done so far i mean there's still work to do <laughs> and i haven't added the block variation like here, I think, is where I'm not going to put any bamboo, but I'm going to make something cool with the wall. I'm going to make it sort of wave upwards, maybe. Maybe add some lighter blocks there, perhaps. I'm not really sure. But yeah, look at that. You can see the gradient from here. It kind of it emerges nicely. And what's nice is that because I've repeated that bottom pattern, uh, or the top pattern here, on either of them, it doesn't really matter what angle you look at it. If, if you're up high or you're down low, you still get that sort of middle ground of pattern. Because even if you, you're down like under here, so we're... You're still gonna see it, right? So yeah, that's that's how it's looking so far. Very uniform, very symmetrical. But uh, don't worry, that's not gonna be it for the whole season. Trust me. But you just can't. You, can't, you gotta start somewhere, right? And that's where we started. But anyway, I have quite literally run out of time for today. Now that is all I have time for. So be sure to leave a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you haven't already. Catch my live streams. Although I will be taking a short break from live streaming for a couple of weeks uh, because of other things going on. But yeah, I'm excited about this. Hopefully you guys are too. And I'll catch you all the next time. See ya.